want to uh, welcome everybody to the Filbert Street Garden. This is, I like to call it the Wakanda South Baltimore, where we don't make vibranium, but we do make black leaf gold compost. We make goldenrod honey, and you might even find the goose that laid the golden egg here. <laughs> You're in one of the most toxic areas in Baltimore City, uh, as far as uh, air quality is considered. Uh, this garden was created. Jason Reed saw a need that residents in this area did not have access to green space to grow their own food. So this was a dumping ground. So imagine this with none of this infrastructure filled with mattresses, tires, trash, bottles, bags. And uh, he, he, he worked with the community, galvanized the community together. And this is a community run and operated garden. This area, uh, like I say, created a 35 raised beds built by Mission Continues. Everything you see in the garden is reused or repurposed. This is our living classroom. This is one of the oldest water towers in Baltimore City. Um, a lot of people heard that they were trying to shut down Filbert Street Garden to make it into a water filtration spot, but they didn't know we were galvanized. They didn't know they were coming to Wakanda, where we <laughs> stick together and uh, we galvanized as a community. And now this is a land trust. So this awesome. nice. ground will be, belong to the community forever. It will always be Filbert Street Garden. So my goal is to train the next youth that will help take care of it, the future uh, protectors of Wakanda, to take care and make compost and grow food and take care of our livestock. All of our animals are rescued. Over here, we have our miniature Nigerian dwarf goat. Um, I want to apologize. I just forgot something really amazing. This is our crate where we keep all our supplies. But as you see, it's a living roof. It has nice. sedum growing all on top of the roof. Uh, and it solar powers all our tools, so we're sustainable. Yeah, we can yeah, charge and power our weed whackers, lawnmowers, uh, bush cutters, everything that we need uh, can, can, we can, um, that's awesome. We can power through here. Uh, speaking of lawnmowers, these are, these help take, these Nigerian <laughs> miniature dwarf goats help take care of all the bush. Nigerian miniature dwarf goats? Yep, come on in. Come on yeah. In. Never heard of those before. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Burnham, Mallet, that's Mighty and Daisy. Mighty runs the garden. Mighty is a little guy, but he has a big heart. He's a Burnham, Mallet rooster. Uh, here is Cheese. Cheese is the mom of winter and egg. They're miniature Nigerian dwarf goats, that's Lego. Uh, and a couple of our other miniature Nigerian dwarf goats. Our Shetland sheep, as you see are over there in the corner. Oh my God. Oh, sheep. Oh, sheep. Yep, all our Shetland sheep. So uh, we are rescued. We make homes for uh, for animals that don't have anybody to take care of them, and we use it for a tool because everybody that lives in the inner city, you're blessed if you have an opportunity to go to a farm, if you had green space when you were coming up, if someone showed you what a tomato was, what a blueberry tree is, what a pawpaw right. tree is. I told you chickens do come home to roost. Uh, so at seven o'clock. The head, the head rooster, which is Buster, um, you'll see him running around, all white rooster. Uh, he leaves all the chickens in and his automatic door is closed. Um, this is so amazing because we can show you that eggs don't have to come processed. Right. The eggs that we grow here at Filbert Street, that, we, that the chickens hatch here at the Filbert Street Garden can stay on the table for three weeks. Wow. Um, they come blue, they come speckled, they come red, they come bright orange. It all depends on the breed of the chicken. Uh, here are raised beds. So everything you see just about was built by Mission Continues. Mission mm -hmm. Continues is a veteran-led uh, service program where they are retired uh, military who come back and do service because we know military people love to serve. So this is an opportunity for them to have some therapeutic, helping out a community garden and they build raised beds. This will be for production. So we'll be selling the vegetables the young people who grow the vegetables and then they'll sell them at a farm stand right outside the garden. Awesome. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> we are the largest beehive for a community garden in Baltimore City. Everybody kind of stand right there where that sign is. Uh, everybody's working and busy. Uh, bees are very, very gentle. Um, the news and media do a bad job of representing. That's why a lot of people are killing our honeybees. Um, I caught my swarm here at the garden in this bush right here. Uh, they covered my whole sleeve and I did not get stung. When they're in a swarm, they are full of honey so their stingers won't even come out. So very, very docile. I haven't 
I've been stung maybe once the whole time I've been here for five years. Um, I am a beekeeper. Um, those are my hogs. 